Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the alarming rise in global diabetes, now impacting over 800 million people. A recent major study published in The Lancet shows that global adult diabetes cases have doubled over the past 30 years, affecting more than 800 million people worldwide. This research is the first global comprehensive analysis of diabetes rates and treatments. It reveals a sharp increase in diabetes prevalence, especially in low- and middle-income regions. Scientists from the NCD Risk Factor Collaboration, in collaboration with the World Health Organization, conducted this study. They analyzed data from more than 140 million adults aged 18 and older, gathered from over 1,000 studies worldwide. The findings indicate that adult diabetes rates increased from approximately 7% in 1990 to 14% in 2022. Experts attribute this rise primarily to lifestyle changes, higher obesity rates, and pervasive health inequalities. The study also highlights widening global health disparities. Researchers found that over half of all diabetes cases are concentrated in just six countries. India currently has the largest number of people with diabetes, representing more than a quarter of global cases, around 212 million individuals. China ranks second with 148 million cases, followed by the United States and Pakistan. Together, Indonesia and Brazil add another 47 million cases. In some regions, such as the Pacific Islands, Caribbean, Middle East and North Africa, diabetes affects over 25% of men and women. Among high-income Western nations, the United States, 12.5%, and the United Kingdom, 8.8%, have the highest diabetes rates. In contrast, in countries like France, Denmark, Spain, Switzerland, and Sweden, diabetes rates among women were as low as 2-4% to in 2022. For men, rates in Denmark, France, Uganda, Kenya, Malawi, Spain, and Rwanda were also low between 3 and 5%. While many higher-income nations have improved diabetes treatment rates, with over 55% of adults receiving care in 2022, Progress has lagged in many low- and middle-income countries. As a result, more than half of adults aged 30 and over with diabetes, 445 million people, were not receiving treatment in 2022. As per the study, type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune condition where the body destroys insulin-producing cells, is less prevalent. In contrast, type 2 diabetes, a preventable metabolic disorder, that hinders the body's ability to use insulin is the diagnosis for more than 95% of diabetes cases. Although genetics influence type 2 diabetes risk, other key factors include obesity, unhealthy diets, and insufficient physical activity. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.